All right, it's been a little bit since we've been in my bathroom, but um, I've got wet hair, so you can see that this is a hair video. <laughs> um, this is sort of gonna be a hair week. Uh, the video you saw on Monday was filmed a while ago, and then I had a couple of other hair videos that I could do, so I figured I'll just do like a week of hair stuff. So Monday you saw my current hair care routine, basically, and or like the current products that I'm using, and a declutter, and a review of the shampoo bar. Um, and then today we're going to talk about something new and then on Friday we're going to do a demo of the deep waiver tool that I love so much because um, you guys said you were interested in that so I figured that's what we would do. So hair week. If you're not interested in hair, uh, just come back next week. <laughs> um, but yes, so my birthday is next week. I'm going to be 34. Um, and I never know what I want for my birthday and my husband's always asking me, what do you want? And I hate telling people what I want. Like I want people to just like you know, like surprise me, you know, like I don't want to have to tell people what I want for my birthday anyway. So I told him, I was like, I'm not telling you, I don't know what I want anyway, because like I pretty much buy myself whatever I want at this point. Um, so I said, I don't know, just surprise me. And so then, so surprise me, he did. He surprised me with, um, this monstrosity. <laughs> so this is the Dyson Supersonic, the $400 hair dryer. Um, so I guess Dyson has come out with a few hair tools now. They've, they have the, this, they have the hair dryer, which I think came first. I don't really know the progression of their hair tools. Um, then they had like a five in one styler, which is like a curling iron and a brush and like it's all kinds of gadgets. That's like $550. And then they just recently came out with a flat iron, which I'm actually kind of interested in, but that's another $500. So we have the $400 hair dryer. <laughs> we'll see. We're going to do an unboxing. We're gonna do a first impressions and we're going to do a, I don't know, I guess that's it. That's all we're doing, we're talking about it. So I, I don't really wanna sit here like after one time drying my hair and be like, is this worth $400? Because I think that sort of is going to depend on a lot of different factors. And for me, that would depend on like, is this the last hair dryer that I'm ever going to need to buy in my life ever? Like, is this going to last me 10, 20 plus years? In that case, I do think something like this could be worth that amount of money um, because it's sort of, it's like pays for itself or not so much pays for itself, but it's just like it, it outlives, <clears throat> I don't know. It just, it would make it worth it to me if it lasts a long time. So this is the hair dryer that I've been using. God, I wanna say for at least the last 10 years, possibly more, maybe around 10 years. We'll say, we'll say in like an even 10 years because I do think it's been that long. Um, this is from the company Celia, which is actually no longer in business as far as I know. So, um, I had used like really cheap tools for a long time, you know, like kind of get a target for like 20 or 30 bucks. The Revlon tools, I think I had a Revlon hair dryer and a Revlon straightener for a long time. And, um, they were no bueno. You know, they, they didn't dry my hair that well. The flat iron constantly snagged my hair and then like the heat was uneven. So eventually, when, you know, when I got my job, yeah, it, this must have been, cause I've had my job since 2009. And I think when they hired me on full time, which was 2009, well, I've been there since 2008, but they hired me on full time 2009. I think I bought myself this as a present, like this and the flat iron that I had before um, because I needed some higher quality hair tools. And I was like, okay, I've got a full-time job now, I'm making a decent amount of money, like I can buy these things for myself. So if I was hired on in 2009, yeah, I would have bought these around 2009, 2010, so 10 years. That was a good estimate. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is 10 years old. It still works perfectly fine and it still works really well. Um, at the same time that I bought this, I did buy the Celia hair iron, the flat iron. That actually went out around the five year mark, it, it didn't last me as long, which was disappointing because they were over a hundred dollars each, but this is, this has lived a really long time. So I think I paid around a hundred dollars for this. I can't remember the exact price. And like I said, the company's no longer in business anymore. Um, so I couldn't tell you how much it was now, even if I wanted to. Um, so if it, if it lasts, if the Dyson lasts as long at least as this like if it lasts me 10 like if this could last me 10 years i'm hoping the dyson lasts at least double that especially for the amount of money it is you know and we are a dyson family we have dyson um we have a dyson vacuum we've actually bought two um we we bought us a, a newest a newer one that's sort of like more heavy duty especially now that we have more cats 
So we have one of those like animal, you know, the animal ones, uh, the purple one. I don't know what they're called, but the Dyson is like the best vacuum we've ever had. It is, it's the best vacuum we've ever had. We had cheapy vacuums before that and we were finally just like, okay, we need to invest in a good vacuum because I'm sick and tired of buying a new vacuum every two or three years or whatever, because that's what was happening. We were just buying new vacuums because they would just break. Dyson has really good um, like warranties and replacement policies and things like that. So we are a Dyson family. Maybe now all of my hair tools at some point will be Dyson. I don't know. Like, I don't know that I'm willing to spend $500 on a flat iron just yet. Or maybe I can get my husband to buy me one of those for my birthday next year. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, so this, I'm hoping this it lasts 10 to 20 years at least. So can I sit here and tell you, is it worth $400? If it blow dries your hair in like five minutes, I don't know. That's really going to depend on you and where you see the value of a dollar like that. The Celia the hair dryer that I've been using for a long time does dry my hair really quick. You know, I don't have to deal with a lot of like frizziness and like damage to my hair. So it's a good quality hair dryer. We're going to see how much different this one really is. So is it worth it? You would have to make that distinction on your own based on how much money you make maybe, or like how much you're willing to invest in products. I do really suggest investing in high quality hair tools. Um, I mean, you don't have to spend $400, even like a $100 hair tool. Like for instance, I do really love the T3 flat iron, which is what I have. This was, I think $110, I think is what I ended up paying for it. I got it on a sale at one point. They're pretty expensive. They also have their own flat iron. They've got, um, they've got, you know, uh, Curling irons as well. I don't have one of those. I have a new me, but I never use it. It's just impossible. I, I hate using curling irons, which is why I love the, um, the deep waver so much. And this is actually, this is affordable. This is like $30. Um, but I don't think that you need, you know, I don't think that you would need a $100 deep waver. At least, at least just from, you know, the experience. Anyway, okay, so we're seven minutes in. You guys are probably sick and tired of me talking, but I just wanted to say those things. You know, I have a hair dryer that I've loved for a long time, a decade. It's done me well. Um, we'll see if this one does me any better. I just wanted to, you know, have some fun. So let's see. So it's the fuchsia color. I love pink. It's fast drying, no extreme heat, engineered for different hair types. It helps protect natural shine, smooth, controlled styling, re-engineered styling attachments. I was reading that it, it costs like $71 million to like design and manufacture this thing. And there was like over 100 en engineers that were like contracted to like help design this thing. Like that's insane. <laughs> It's a lot of money to spend researching a hair dryer, but I guess it, for that amount of money, for the amount of money that they put into this thing, like it better be damn good. So it comes with the base, whatever. If you have a, you know, a Dyson fan, it's it's got that, you know, hole in it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then it comes with the styling concentrator, the smoothing nozzle, um, which I, this thing, this thing did come with other attachments. I think it came with a diffuser that I lost at some point. I don't really know. Um, but this is the smoothing, I think. Or is this the styling concentrator? Because this one is pretty thin. It looks like this one. But this one is the smoothing nozzle. I don't know. This is the only one that I've been using because it's the only one I got left. I think it might have come with similar other attachments. I think it, I know it came with a diffuser, but I don't know what happened to it. I probably threw it away because I never have used a diffuser. And then it, I feel like it did come with another nozzle, but I just used this one, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then it also comes with the diffuser, which I'm kind of interested to try because I do have naturally wavy hair and I've watched some videos um, about diffusing wavy hair and like, you know, the curl and stuff. So I'm going to try, I think I'm going to try that. Not today, but we're just going to dry it today. So it's got powerful airflow. It's a air multiplier technology that amplifies air by three times. It's got LED indicators that clearly show the selected settings. It's negative ions, three precise airflow speeds. It has a cold shot, insulating chamber, which reduces surface temperature on both the inside and outside of the barrel. So it'll be cool to the touch. Engineered for balance, um, pulse width mod modulation, which enables precise control of the heating element, glass bead thermistor, a uh, thermal sensor measures air temperature and transmit data to the microprocessor. It's like a freaking computer. <laughs> uh, 
No extreme heat. It's got an intelligent heat control that measures air temperature over 40 times a second. Four precise heat settings, including constant cold mode. It's, uh, it's acoustically tuned to provide one inaudible frequency, and then it's fast drying. Removable filter cage for easy cleaning. Okay, so here's what it looks like on the inside. I guess I can start pulling all these pieces out. So it comes with the, you know, instruction manual, though I know how to use a hair dryer. It's got a wrist, something or other. So here's the diffuser. We've got the, you know, one attachment. This is the smoother attachment, which is probably the one that I'll use the, oops, the most already on the floor. Don't break it, Danielle. Comes with this, which, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it, it came in here. So, and then here is the gadget itself. So, and the attachments are magnetic, which is kind of cool. The, uh, the problem that I have with that one is it's like always coming off. So I don't know if like the heat and the cool, it just like warps the uh, plastic over time. It just like always falls off. This one, that is not going to happen. It is, you know, it's once it's in there, it's in there. So, and then here's the diffuser piece. So that's pretty cool. And then the controlled, controlled styling piece. So I'm gonna put those other two to the side for now. <laughs> um, I'm going to, so let's see, I wanna turn it on and like show you the buttons, but I can't do that without it making a bunch of noise. So you press the lever up here. So that's the fan, and then here's the temperature. So now it's on cold, or not cold, but like no heat, low heat, medium heat, high heat. So how I typically dry my hair is I bl full blast it. You know, I turn it on the highest heat, the highest fan. So let's just, let's just try it and see. Um, oh, here's how you sort of like remove the, uh, the filter thing down here. So it just sort of clicks, clean it out every once in a while. It's pretty cool, I mean it does, it feels nice. We'll see how it works once I've, um... this is kind of cumbersome, I don't know. Let's see if I can show you. So instead of it just being like one long cord, it does have this sort of like thing in the middle, which can get sort of annoying, especially just like the way that my vanity situation is set up. I did buy a like holder for this. I'll go ahead and link it just so you can like see it, but it's it's uh, wall mounted. So um, I do just have like a sort of a, like a blow dryer, like a hot tools cubby thing, like a plastic organizer that sits on my, like my countertop. Um, but I bought one to sort of like, it'll hang and then the attachments will just sort of like attach to it. I'll leave it linked below so you can look at it so you can see what I'm talking about. But I did buy one of those. It's gonna come tomorrow, I think. Um, so let's just do this the way that I usually would. My hair is, mo it's like, it's like kind of damp. Right now you can sort of see my waves <laughs> sort of like setting in. Um, but yeah, I did the Evolve leave-in conditioner. I can link it below and then I used the Josh Rosebrook serum spray. No, I didn't. I didn't do that because I wanted to see how it does with frizz because I use that other one to help with frizz. So I wanted to see how well this works on hair to defrizz it. So All right, so my hair is basically dry. I'll, uh, I'll have sped this up, but I'll leave the amount of time from start drying to finish drying. All right, so a couple of observations. It is very light um, compared to the other dryer that I have. It may be, or maybe it's just like the shape in general. This is much easier to use or like it's, 
it's not as cumbersome to hold. It doesn't feel as weighty. Um, so my arm like didn't get tired. Like I could hold it up here for a, like a long amount of time and not have an issue with it. So I do like that. I do like the shape too. It's like, it's kind of a nice, I don't know. It's just kind of a nice shape. It just feels natural to hold and like easy. I was sort of like, like feeling like it should be longer just because I'm used to that. So like, as I'm going through it, I'm just like, <laughs> it's like getting used to holding it at like, you know, a normal distance now and not anyway, it didn't get super hot. Um, but I felt like it dried my hair really well for it not, there not being hardly any heat. Um, usually I will blow dry my hair and then I'll straighten it. I do still think I need to straighten it because it is, while it did actually do a really good job smoothing it and there's like no detectable frizz, like, or hardly any, I do feel like it's a little bit poofy, which can happen. But even still, maybe like a couple more minutes with it, um, I might be able to like smooth it enough to like not even have to flatten iron my hair. I don't know. I'm actually kind of impressed. It looks really good, but I do like to sort of straighten out like my ends and stuff too. And I never blow dry my hair like a blowout. I don't go with it with a brush. My stylist is the best at that. Um, I'm not, I can't even attempt it. It just doesn't work for me. So with my old dryer, I actually do dry my hair pretty quickly, but I do think this shaved off at least a couple of minutes. It would take me anywhere between like five and 10 minutes. I think with my old dryer, depending on like if how, let, how long I let my hair air dry, if I had, if I, dr if I dried it from immediately out of the shower, but it, this being like a normal dampness that I would normally dry my hair in, I do think it probably shaved off a couple of minutes. Um, you know, granted there's not much time to shave off because it already didn't take me that long to dry my hair because my hair is thin. So it is, it does, it's quick, it's quick to dry. It doesn't take me like an hour to dry my hair. So, I mean, it did save me a couple of minutes, which is nice. It is really smooth, which is also nice. Um, I might, I might just let it go for a couple more minutes and see if we can smooth it out even farther. If maybe I don't even need to use the flat iron, but we'll see. All right, so that was another couple of minutes, like literally two more minutes. I do think it did a really good job. It's just a little poofier than I like. So, I mean, I still would run a flat iron through it at least for like a pass or two, just to like sort of flatten it. Cause you know, my hair is, it's straight and it's smooth, but it sometimes can look poofy, you know? Like, do you get, do you see like how it's, I just like it like slick, <laughs> um, but it did a really awesome job, you know, better than my other hair dryer does. Um, you know, just smoothing it and just straightening it in like a really short amount of time. So I'm actually really impressed. So I guess uh, first impressions is I'm pretty darn happy with the thing. <laughs> it's, it's very, it's very interesting. And like, I don't know how it, I don't know how it works because I put my hand back here and it's not like it's sucking in air or like if it is, I don't understand the technology. Very interesting, but it does, it works really well. So I don't know if at any point you're in like the market for a new hair dryer and you have the money to invest in something. I mean, it is nice. It does dry really, really quickly. I mean, my hair dries fast already as it is, um, but it shaved off a couple of minutes. It did smooth it down really well. So I'm pretty excited to play around with it and uh, try out the diffuser and see if I can create some, you know, like waves. Cause my hair is wavy, but when it air dries, it's frizzy. But if I can create that sort of like wavy look with uh, the diffuser, that would be pretty awesome. And then not even have to use like my deep waver. I don't know. I might, I don't know. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna use the deep waver because <laughs> I like to use that on second day hair. So like when I, I'll blow dry my hair and straighten it day one and then I'll use the deep waver day two, which is what we're going to do tomorrow. But yeah, so overall, pretty impressed with it. Is it worth $400? I don't know, that really is going to depend on you and uh, how you value 
your money and your spending and um, whether you think that a $400 hair dryer is worth spending money on. Um, yeah, so I can't I can't sit here and say if it's worth it. It is very nice. It's it's nice to have high quality um, tools because they uh, last longer. They're typically much more effective because there is a lot of money put into them, um, a lot of technology. <laughs> so I mean, for me, I really like it. I'm really happy with it. And then you know, you guys would just have to decide if it's worth four hundred dollars to you. It didn't make me any less hot while using it though. So even though it shaved off a couple of minutes, I'm still like sweaty. <laughs> but it is summer and it's a lot warmer. Um, you know, it's a lot warmer than it usually is. I mean, it's summer. It's warm. So like the house warms up and I don't have my AC on right now just because I am filming this. Usually I'd have my AC running to sort of offset the, um, offset the temperature increase. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I actually might not even straighten my hair today. I actually don't even think I mind so much. And it feels, you know, nice and soft and smooth. It didn't get all naughty. It didn't like, you know, whir, you know, whir it into your hair, but I did keep it pointed down the whole time. So maybe that had something to do with it. I always, I always point down while I, um, you know, blow dry just to keep the hair going in one direction. And if you're like blowing up, you could be, um, I guess like, you could be hurting the hair you know, because your hair is not, it's not like smooth. The reason it gets frizzy is because like, it's like you're running your fingers, you know, like up one of those tree plants. It's like the fern leafy things. And then you like sort of run your fingers on it and it, um, they all come off. So it's sort of like that. So it's like you're stripping the hair up and like the, the follicles, there's a much more scientific term for it, which I don't know, but you know what I mean? It like, you know, you, it runs up. It, it creates friction, friction on the hair, which makes your hair look frizzy. So you, the smoothing, so the smoothing nozzle plus um, drying it in one direction helps avoid the frizz. So there's that. And I didn't even need to use my Josh Rosebrook serum spray, which helps with frizz. I feel like this did fine without it. So I don't know. <laughs> Once that bottle's gone, I may not even need to buy another bottle. So maybe that's the upshot of having a $400 uh, hair dryer is you don't need, you know, you don't need extra product. I do think you need to do something um, volumizing wise because it, it is so sort of like powerful. Um, it like flattens. Usually I do have a little bit extra, like a little bit of volume up here, but this time I didn't. So I have to use my volumizing foam next time just to like avoid this like flattened at the scalp thing. And I always do um, flip my hair over and dry underneath, not for volume necessarily, but that I guess that is an upside, but it's to like uh, make sure my roots, you know, back here are dry that are harder to get to. So I always do flip my hair over so I can get those root parts. But um, I guess one of the downsides is that my hair looks a little bit less voluminous at the roots that it usually would. So I'll just have to use my volumizing foam next time, next time and see if that helps. So I guess that's really all I've got. First impressions are good. I'm excited to keep using it. Um, I'm excited to try the diffuser to see if it helps create waves without needing a hair tool, like a separate hair tool. Um, I'll keep you updated on that as I try that and maybe I'll come on and do it if I find that it's successful. But yeah, um, I'm pretty impressed and uh, I should be for $400, even though I didn't spend the money, but it, I should be impressed for that much money. Like you should be impressed by the hair tool. And um, I don't know, at some point, maybe I'll invest in the flat iron because I am pretty interested in that. I don't know, the, the other hair tool thingy is also pretty interesting, but that's like a, a $1,000 investment basically is like those two together. So I don't know if Dyson wants to send them to me, I won't say no. <laughs> But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope you had fun trying a new hair tool with me. Um, I don't know if you ever saw the Dyson hair tool and been interested in somebody trying it or something. I don't know. Or maybe you just wanted to hang out for half an hour and watch me do my hair. So that's that. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.